So uh, today I have a new experiment for you, uh, which is just as the other in my series of easy experiments to do at home, an easy experiment to do at home. Uh, so anyways, the mission is to get this egg through the neck of this bottle and into the bottom of it. I have trouble following your hand, it moves so much. Don't zoom in so much then. Uh, anyways, so how we're going to do this is by lighting some paper on fire, putting it down the bottle, putting the egg on top and uh, the air inside will get so hot that it expands. It wants to escape really bad out of this bottle. So it pushes the egg out of the way, uh, making it vibrate, the air escapes, and then it gets a little bit colder inside here. The oxygen has escaped, no more fire inside. Uh, so uh, it becomes an under pressure inside the bottle, which wants to suck some air in. Uh, but uh, the egg is in the way. So it sucks the egg into in a really high speed, hopefully, if we do it right. Okay, so, so, so I got a question for you. Yeah. Um, can it be any egg? Does it need to be hard boiled or uh, could it, it be a... It needs <laughs> to be hard boiled because okay. I tried this with a... Not hard boiled. <laughs> not hard boiled egg earlier. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it simply became uh, slimy and just... The yeah. yolk uh, just uh, ran through and splattered inside. Exactly. And also, what uh, kind of bottle do you need? Can you have a very thin one or... No, one? you can't. I tried with a very narrow vase earlier. Uh, the egg couldn't get inside, so uh, it didn't work at all. So use a bottle that the egg really can't... You can't push the egg inside. Uh, but at the same time, it should be. It should look like it can still fit inside. Anyways, I use a pair of security goggles. I think cool. it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in case the glass shatters, uh, and a pair of mittens, gloves, whatever. I'm on fire. How about grown-ups? Are they uh, invited when you put things on fire or do you prefer yes. to do it alone? Bring an adult. Okay. Always. Well, it sure burns. It does, but I'll let it burn a little more just before I put it in the bottle. How about now? Cool. <laughs> so uh, it worked out pretty well. I failed uh, like two or three times, so uh, it's okay to not succeed on first try. However, when you succeed, it will be worth it. This is definitely uh, an experiment that is very easy to do at home, and I think that you should definitely try it because it looks awesome when you do it technically. Also, fire is fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, however, bring an adult, like I said before, and don't use grandma's vase. Okay? So, uh, anyways, over and out. Bye. <laughs>